everyone, and welcome to the On Deck Podcast presented by Line Star. I'm Shannon Somerville. We'll be joined by Tyler Weeman in just a bit to go over some of your daily fantasy baseball projections as well as some prop bets and our home run calls. We've been crushing both of those lately, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. But first things first, we've got to check in on some weather conditions across the country in MLB action. First game we want to take a look at is Washington at Pittsburgh. PNC Park will be 66 degrees. Nice conditions there with an 11-mile-an-hour wind blowing right to left. Oriole Park at Camden Yards, where the Yankees are paying a visit, 67 degrees, 0% chance of rain. Clear skies there, 11 mile an hour winds blowing out to left. Taking a look at Progressive Field, where we do have some weather conditions here, 58 degrees, 12% chance of rain, but that chance of rain goes up the later the game goes. 11 mile an hour winds blowing to right field. Going over to Guaranteed Rate Field, where the Rays are playing the White Sox, 49 degrees, 24% chance of rain. Chance for some stray showers there, 12 mile an hour winds blowing out to left field. Tigers at Royals, Kauffman Stadium will be 58 degrees, 0% chance of rain. 10 mile an hour winds blowing in across from left to right. Cubs at Rockies, Coors Field will be 62 degrees, 4% chance of rain, 12 mile an hour winds blowing in from left. Braves at Padres, Petco Park, 60 degrees, 0% chance of rain, and just a light six mile an hour breeze left to right. Reds at Dodgers, 63 degrees, 0% chance of rain, clear skies, 11 mile an hour winds out to left field. So that's your weather report for today. Now we bring in Tyler Weeman to go over some of your daily fantasy baseball projections. And starting off with our chalk report. Taking a look at some of the pitchers and who are the highest owned pitchers right now. We'll start off with Giants lefty Carlos Rodon taking on the Guardians, 40% owned on DraftKings, 35% on FanDuel. What's your assessment of people playing him today? Well, San Francisco, whenever they go after a free agent pitcher especially, they make sure they can always improve the player in somehow. And I think they're probably doing that again with Rodon. But uh, typically, Radon does strike out 35% of the batters, and the Guardians strike out 22%. So there is a, some upside there. Both sides strike out uh, quite a bit. Now, the one thing I would have to say is that the Guardians have been extremely hot. They have. Their WRC Plus leads the league by almost 30 points at 161. So if they can keep that going, which yeah. probably not, you would want to stay away from this matchup. But regardless, this is by far the best pitcher they've seen. Yeah, it seems like the Guardians leading the league in batting average is not going to last. And Rodon had 12 strikeouts last outing against yes. the Marlins. And he went pretty far into the game, too, so I'm not worried about his pitch count or anything like that. Yeah, always a good sign to see that. Next up, it's Padres lefty Mackenzie Gore, who gets the call up mm -hmm. to take on the Braves. And this is probably one of the number one pitching prospects in all of baseball, getting the call up. And he's starting in place of Blake Snell, who got put on the injury report for, um, I believe it was just a minor injury there but what is your assessment of people kind of taking a gamble on gore in fantasy today yeah i personally am very excited to see how this goes uh, i've been watching gore for a while in 2017 he was the padres third overall draft pick so he does have that pedigree of being a top talent he was also the number one pitching prospect in all of baseball in 2020 before he had some mechanical issues, and it's kind of delayed his progress where he didn't really pitch in the minors last year, and he spent the whole time just protect, or perfecting that and getting his uh, mojo going again. Yeah. So we don't really know which, which gore we're going to see, but he is a top prospect. He's found his form again, and yeah. I'm excited to see what we get. Yeah, there isn't a lot to go on, but in spring yeah. training, struck out 16 hitters over 12 mm -hmm. innings, which is obviously something you like And to see. in his start last week, he, over five innings, he struck out seven guys in the minors. So it, he does have strikeout stuff. There is some upside. All right. So taking a look at the next pitcher, Fastball Freddy is on the hill today, <laughs> taking on the Cardinals, 30% owned on fan duel kind of looking to rebound didn't have the greatest first start what do you like about 
him today in, in daily fantasy. Again, Freddie is a strikeout pitcher. You know, he, he likes to strike out guys. The combined strikeout rate is 25% today. So there's absolutely upside. His FIP is a low 3.29. All of that looks good. And St. Louis is another team that has been extremely hot to start the season. They have a 129 WRC plus, but versus righties, it is only 103. So there could be a little wiggle room for, uh, for him to exploit this matchup. Next up, let's take a look at some low-owned pitchers. Dylan Cease, Chicago White Sox righty, is going up against the Rays today. Last time out, gave up just one run and five innings mm-hmm. pitched, eight strikeouts there. So is this a good play? Yeah, I like this play a lot as a pivot off of Radon or Peralta. Now, not saying that either of those are bad plays. Cease is just going to come in at a little less owned. He has actually the highest combined K rate on the slate at 30%. So there could be a little bit more upside. And then Tampa Bay is a good offense, but not nearly as hot as what Cleveland or St. Louis has been to start the season. Sure. Good play there. Jordan Montgomery is next up. Mm -hmm. He's 15% owned on DraftKings right now. And Gumby taking on the Orioles today. Love to see the former Gamecocks Mm. pitcher taking, (laughs) taking the mound. What do you like about him in Daily Fantasy? So I'm finally not picking on the Yankees. Finally, and I'm rolling it's about with time. Them. Is this the? I think this is the first time you featured a Yankees pitcher besides Garrett Cole. Yeah, we talked about Garrett Cole yesterday. I didn't want to go on to Severino just because of his pitch count, which he, he ended up not mattering. Right, he's on fire. <laughs> yeah. But. So, anyways, Jordan Montgomery, about 15% owned on DK, maybe 11 on FanDuel. He has a great K rate, right around 24.6%. But over the last five games, it's actually up to like 29%. So if he continues to do that, there's some great upside, along with Baltimore against uh, lefties, is Kane 35%. So if that continues to happen, there is some huge upside. The one thing that I do want to bring up is that he only did throw 58 pitches in his last start. Ah. He got hit a little bit. So that could be, you know, part of the reason of the lower pitch count, but it is something to watch and keep in mind. I like that play personally, but (laughs) I am a little biased being that I am a Yankees fan. But let's go to some top stacks now. Who are we going to stack against some of these pitchers out there? So you're going Dodgers. That's one of the Mm -hmm. highest owned stacks right now. Mm -hmm. Going up against Vladimir Gutierrez last time out. He gave up two earned runs in four and a third. What do you like about the Dodgers matchup today? So the Dodgers uh, versus right-handed pitchers are absolutely crushing them. They have uh, 136 WRC plus. They're hitting almost 300 as a team versus righties. So all of that looks good. It's also one of the highest run totals on the slate. And Freeman, Turner, Muncie all look around 20, 25%. So it's not going to be a low owned stack. But you could look to mix in some of the lefties like Bellinger, which will be a little bit lower owned. Sure. So another team you're looking at is the Angels that are taking mm-hmm. on the Rangers and Matt Bush. The 2004 first overall pick for your Padres, but you're going against him today stacking the Angels. Not only was he a Padre, he also <laughs> is from San Diego. That's right. Mission it's Bay. Just, it hurts. Anyways, <laughs> Angels. They are crushing righties. They have a 5.3 implied run total. You have Otani and Trout. You can always pretty much expect some runs, and Trout seems like he's hitting up, heating up after he had a home run yesterday. Yep, he delivered for you on your yep. home run call. We'll Absolutely. get to your home run calls in a bit. Um, but, yeah, so the Angels, definitely a good play here. I Yes, I like them. You can't go wrong with them. Yeah, Otani and mm-hmm. Trout, like you just mentioned. So some low-owned stacks that we want to keep an eye on is Houston yes. at Seattle. Marco Gonzalez is getting the nod for the Mariners. Last time out, he gave up six runs mm-hmm. in just two innings pitched. Now, yeah. the Astros are at the bottom of the league right now in batting average, but we know what they're capable of. Absolutely, and that's part of it is uh, Gonzalez actually also gave up three home runs in that game. So he was definitely getting hard. Mm -hmm. Uh, The other thing to note is, historically, Houston has done very well against Marco Gonzalez. 
They have five guys that have hit over 300 with their BVP numbers, including Altuve, who's hitting 512 against him. I think it was in 22 wow. plate appearances. Brantley is hitting 419. Tucker, 554. All of them are just crushing him. So We'll take those odds. I want to go back to that, yeah. All right. So any other low-owned stacks we want to take a look at today? Yes, we have the San Francisco Giants. Now, this is probably a little bit risky. Uh, it has one of the lowest game totals on the slate. I think it's at 7.5. Mm -hmm. uh, Pulaski has been decent, but one thing that I found is that his velocity is down 2 miles an hour. Interesting. And anytime that happens – there can be some wiggle sure. room for, for guys to get blown up a little bit. And yeah. another thing is that San Francisco is crushing righties with a 124 WRC plus. So with that and, and them being a cheaper stack and a sure. lot of good pitchers on this slate, I think it could be a good spot to turn. All right. So those are some great picks for today in Daily Fantasy. Now it is time for our home run calls. You know, mm. death taxes are certain, but so are our home run calls, or at least at least one of us will get it right. Yesterday, yep. Ma Mike Trout delivered the home run to make your call come to fruition. It was a beautiful thing. It was, he absolutely <laughs> crushed that ball too. I think it was a 470 feet or something like that. All right, so let's see if we can go two in a row today let's with your it. pick. Who are you going with? I am going back to the Houston Astros. Okay. Jordan Alvarez. Again, like we talked, Marco Gonzalez get, has got beat up a little bit in his first start. He gave up three home runs and in two innings, and Alvarez is hitting 400 versus, versus him in 12 yeah. plate appearances. So I like that that's call. A, that's a great pick. I'm going with a Dodger, Mad Max, Max Muncy. Going up against Reds righty Vladimir Gutierrez, you talked about how beneficial that mm -hmm. matchup is for the Dodgers, and I think that Max Muncy benefits from that today. Mad Max is going yard for sure. Count it and put it on the board there. All right. Th those are our home run calls. Be sure to follow us on Twitter uh, and keep up with that, and you can enter our contest at Line Star if you follow us and retweet us for our home run pick, and one of us gets it right, mm -hmm. you could win. So keep an eye on that. Next up is our prop bets, and I feel like we need pyrotechnics for this segment on the show. Maybe we can pitch that to our bosses. I mean, you're so hot. Because we have been on fire. There should just be a ring right? of fire around you right now. <laughs> Bring six it on. Straight. Or no, five, five straight. Five for five. Going for six. We're going for six today. So here's where I'm headed, and it's a little bit of a risky one, but I'm going Salvador Perez over one and a half bases. That's at minus 115. He's going up against Tigers lefty Tarek Skubal, who gave up four earned runs off seven hits last game and four innings pitched. Now, it is a very small sample size, but consider last year he gave up a 500 slugging percentage, two righty bats, and okay, Perez is batting 167 on the season. However, he does have a 385 average against Scoobal and 13 at bats, which is a pretty decent sample size. Mm -hmm. Now, I say it's risky because he has gone hitless in four of six games this season. So it's one I'm a little bit nervous about. But hey, we're confident. We've got five in a row. Give me Salvi for six in a row. I think you're going to give Salvi luck with how hot you are right now. <laughs> it's going to happen. Let's hope so. All right. With my prop, I'm going back to my home run pick, Jordan Alvarez, for over 0.5 RBIs. It is plus 140. When I saw that line, That's I just thought awesome it was value. way too good a value to yeah, pass up. So definitely. I am hitting Jordan Alvarez. All right. So... Be sure to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel and keep up with us on Twitter. Remember, you can go to linestarapp.com for all of the analytics and stats, the ones that we use to make our prop picks and our home run calls. And you can also download the LineStar app. That's going to do it for us today. We'll see you next week. Have an awesome weekend. We'll and see you then. And do not forget to like and subscribe. Yes, like, hit subscribe, that. hit those buttons. <laughs> we'll yeah, see you next let's week. Let's go. <laughs>